Hello and welcome to today's Prime Demo. Today we're looking at Milwaukee's Mag Base Drill. Mitch, I'm a bit excited to see this one in action. Tell us a little bit more before we have the demo. Hi Steve, yeah, me too. It's a massive tool. It, uh, it looks imp imposing, um, looks pretty powerful and, and has some serious stats behind it. So Mag Base Drills are normally used in construction and fabrication industries. Um, used for cutting just in 6 to 50 mil plate. Uh, for putting bolt holes in frames and structures and material that need to be put together on site in construction industries. So, previously, everybody has made a corded product, and this is one of the world's first cordless ones. So, to put it on the M18 platform, which is already successful, I'm pretty excited to see how it goes. So, we'll go outside, and we're going to put it through put it through its paces and see how it goes. So, the demo we're going to do today with the Milwaukee M18 fuel mag base drill is drilling some 24 mil holes through this 10 mil plate. Um, we've got it set up here ready to go, but I'll step you through the ways you need to set the tool up to use it. Milwaukee uses a permanent magnet system, so it's just a matter of rotating the handle to lock the magnet in place. This is a fantastic safety feature because if your, your battery goes flat, your, the tool is not relying on the battery power to hold itself to the plate. So if you're using it upside down or hanging it off a beam, you haven't got to stress about the tool falling off as it's quite an expensive tool. So it's got 900 kilos of brake force to lift that magnet away, so it's very powerful. So it's two stages. So you'll see the first stage, we sort of turn around to half here, and we can still we can still move the tool around and get it into the right spot. So at this point, we want to be moving it right towards the edge of the corner so we can get the most of our plate. Let's just move it around without the tool being knocked off. So turn it all the way through. Now one thing you need to ensure is you need a minimum 6mm plate thickness for this magnet to be able to attach. So ensure that you've always got that. Now with the tool it also comes with a, an onboard coolant bottle which you can magnetise to either side of the tool depending on which application you're in along with a quick release handle which you just push the centre button, pull it out, and you can switch across the side, depending on where you are, stuck in different frames or beams or applications where you go. So, so for today's demonstration, we're not actually going to use any coolant for it. So the coolant is essential for getting the longest life out of your brooches, but at our disposal today, we don't have any coolant available. So we'll put this, we'll show you how easy it puts these 24 mil holes through the plate. So it's got a nice, wide, firm switch, which you pull out to activate, and then can shut off quite easily in an emergency situation. So it's a great option, as opposed to other corded brands which have it around the side with little toggle switches that makes it quite difficult. The Milwaukee one's very simple, pop it in, and away you go. So. So as you can see, a 24 mil hole straight through our 10 mil plate. It's a nice, clean, smooth finish. It's quite a large hole to be drilled by a cordless tool. We're now going to show you how easily Milwaukee's mag base drill turns into a portable pedestal drill, which is a fantastic solution. Milwaukee's implemented their toolless fixed tech change system onto this tool, which makes it changing into twist drills a breeze. It comes supplied in the box with a 13 mil keyed chuck, which is a quick change into the housing and you're often drilling quickly. The first step is just to undo the quick chuck, twist it anti-clockwise, remove your broach bit, twist it anti-clockwise again, insert your key chuck, turn it around and it'll lock into place. The next step you want to do is you need to un undo the lever here raise the drill 
at this point you've got full height of the tool, which is 260 mil, allowing you plenty of room for your twist drill bit and being able to get into the material. Tighten the drill bit up and you're ready to go. So, you might ask what the advantage of using a twist drill bit over a broach is. A lot of the time when you've got to cut through deeper sections and holes from that may be even smaller, so 6 to 13 mil, the twist drill is a great option. There's a lot of broaches only go down to 12 mil capacity. So this gives you flexibility, you can use the tool anywhere. Or even a lot of people quite like to use them in sea containers. They can set them up on site and you've got your own drill press as well as a mag base drill. So we'll show you how they go. The final step of that is to switch across your two-speed gearbox. So your two-speed gearbox has your broach cutting mode and your twist drill mode. So it's just as simple as turning that around, locking it into place, and you're ready to go. Just tighten the magnet back up again. There you have it. Within a matter of minutes, we've changed across to twist drills and we're drilling smaller portable holes. It's a great on-site and cordless solution for Milwaukee. Well, there you have it. Pretty strong performance. Mitch, I did like there, there was no sign of a shut-off or anything like we might see with rivals. Yeah, that's it. It's just got pure performance from its fuel brushless motor. It's also coupled with its auto stop feature, so it does have a shutdown function if the tool gets knocked or it begins to lift up, which is very highly unlikely, uh, more to be the case if someone bumps the knob and it, and it rotates its magnet off. But I say it's just got pure power, coupled with its two-speed gearbox, it really runs the drills and broaches at the correct speed for the correct performance. And the battery here is a nice snug fit with the five amp hour, which is running on currently. I see there's a little attachment here. Just for future expansion? Yeah, so there's a, a 20 mil rubber block that's behind the battery. This is for future expansion. This is for the 9 amp hour battery, which is coming in April. This allows a lot longer performance, and this tool will be one that will be begging for it to come out. So it already has really good performance, and the 9 amp hour is going to extend that beyond that. Now, one thing I have to bring up uh, is the sheer size of it. It's a very large unit, and it's a very Heavy. It's not the most portable going around. A lot of the other units, which honestly don't have the power that this one has, but they are more portable and lighter. Is that that offset you happy with that? Depending on what application you're going to be using it for? For sure. No qualms about it. There is other units out there that are much smaller than the Milwaukee. Uh, for example, the Nitto unit, the Nitto Atrace cordless unit. It's a fantastic unit. It's, it's a lot smaller, a lot portable. It's around six kilos, so it's half the weight of Milwaukee's 13 and a half kilos. But when we've done a head-to-head -head comparison then before, you lift the, you actually lift the magnet up with that unit. And like I was saying before, it's got a battery which powers the magnet as well. So if the battery fails, the whole unit's going to come crashing down. So, like you say, for tight spaces, confined areas where the Milwaukee unit is probably going to be too big for. That is its niche market. But I say Milwaukee to be able to have the platform of 50 tools to go with it rather than just one battery, which is unique to that tool. So, All right. What, and speaking of batteries, what kind of life are we looking at? How many cuts are we going to get out of this unit on our current 5 amp hour battery? So with the 5 amp hour battery, drilling with a 20 mil broach through 6 mil plate, you're going to get 40 holes. So when we were talking about the 9 amp hour battery, you're going to get 90 holes out of that same run time. So it's extraordinary performance coming soon, but I say the 40 holes out of the unit at the moment is, is groundbreaking for cordless technology. Mm. Yeah, it's a good performer, that's for sure. Yeah. So if you have any feedback on the unit, please leave it in the comments below, as well as give us a like and a subscribe if you're interested in our videos and find them entertaining. If you want to leave some comments to let us know what you'd like to see in upcoming videos, it would be much appreciated.
We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.